tell us a few words about this guitar? Uh, this guitar is, it? um, it's yeah, it's a Scott Henderson signature, signature model. And um, it's basically they're trying to make this guitar like the old vintage Strats, but easier to play. Because, you know, the, the old Strats are a little bit difficult to play because they have the very small frets and the, small the, the, the radius is weird so that when you bend a string, it frets out. So it, it plays more like a Gibson because the neck is much flatter and has big jumbo frets, 6100 uh, frets. So it's very easy to play. Uh, uh, just nickel. Yeah, yeah. Stainless makes it brighter. And I don't need any more trouble. I've already got too much. <laughs> I got people yelling at me already to turn down. So, so um, anyway, and then uh, it's a regular Fender bridge. Only the bar is is thicker, and uh, it hopefully doesn't break as much. And it's also shorter. It's a little shorter because it's easier to play the the these kind of things. If it's that wasn't in tune, but. If it's if it's if it's really um, if it's really long, it's harder to do that. You you, you know, way overshoot the notes and stuff. And then um, that's basically it. They're just um, three Mike Landau pickups, and then there's a noiseless pickup right here, like a, an extra pickup, but it doesn't have a magnet in it. It's just wire, and it keeps it from humming. So it's basically when when I'm playing, like say in the treble position, it's combining this pickup with this dummy pickup, and there's no hum. Yeah, because uh, these days single coil pickups in all the RF and all the radio stations, it's it's loud. Yeah. Is it a vintage wiring? Yeah, these I, are I just. Mean, um, yeah. Pick up without tone. No, no, it's got a uh, tone control. Yeah, um, this tone control works everything. Um, all the combinations of the pickups, and only this tone control works this pickup when it's only by itself. Mm -hmm. And then it, the the, the you wood is. Use in elevens strings. No, they're tens. tens. I stopped using elevens because, for me, um, I, I think tens work better for the music I'm playing now. Elevens are great for blues with very low gain. But when you start adding more gain, the 11s start to get really woofy and kind of, they lose their voice. So 11s are great for blues. I love, love them for blues, but we're playing so many different styles and, and 10s seem to cover more, they seem are to be more versatile. Are regular 10s? Uh, they're, they're, the, they're the Diodario 10s that have the little solder on the, on the ball to keep them from breaking because they're, they're made for vibrato bars. So they're called. They have a K in the in the in the name, but yeah, they help them not to break. And then this is just an alder body, just straight alder body and maple rosewood neck. So it's it's very you know vintage. Yeah. What about picks? Uh, Fender heavies. Fender heavies. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. <laughs> type of thing. Right? And then and then uh, if I add the extra stage of the booster, it gets more gainy. More of a high gain sound. Right? And then uh, after that is the SD9, that's even more high gain. So sometimes I use that like on certain songs where I need to play more legato and that's a better pedal for legato because it's more compressed. And then I have an Octavia. I use a couple times in the show. Then I have a Fuzz Factory. It's a nice thing to do. It's basically a noise. 
always making pedal. It really reacts nicely to the volume knob. Yeah. I've used it on some records and some songs. Um, chorus. All right, just plain old chorus. Freeze pedal that I don't have plugged in, but sometimes I plug it in if I want to do a solo thing by myself. And then just wah-wah, and that's it. And then from there, it goes right back into the front of the amp. And then here um, is a multi-effects, and what I'm doing is I'm going out of the uh, speaker out of the amp of an extra speaker jack into a little a John Sir line box and that feeds the SE70 with a line signal and then I'm going into this deluxe and the deluxe only has the reverb and delay so it's dry here and wet here and then the, the echo patch is just like um, delay and reverb mixed and then I can control it because after the line box I'm going into this little pedal so I can have a lot or just turn it down and have very little depending on the song. That's basically it. Oh, I didn't tell you what this is. This is really cool. That's a battery box so that I can um, run all the pedals off batteries and not have to use external power because I think they're a little quieter when you run them off batteries. And what about this Tech 21? That is just controlling patches on the SC70. Okay. So, um, you know, just, just up and down um, for the songs, like different types of reverbs. You know, okay. sometimes I'm using a... Th th sometimes I'm using a long reverb so that I can do this kind of stuff. Effect. Sometimes I'm using more of a, a tank for blues. <laughs> like an Elvis Presley nice kind of thing. <laughs> what about yeah. this small box? With um, that's just a volume volume oh. pot that's in the effects so, loop so I can control my master yeah. volume. I like it better than a volume pedal because a volume pedal isn't very subtle. And this is subtle. I can turn down just a little bit or up a little bit and nobody notices. And with a volume pedal, you just try to move it just a little bit and everybody hears it. 